Hey guys, this is EYL and two alarms, and this will be System Task 49. Let's get started. changes on the system got the panel right here the MSAD nothing's changed on the inside but you get the idea the key switch for the uh, attic heat detectors for the uh, disable enable switch which we're using today um, so um, a little bit of an interesting story so once I had so this is the 2451th uh, this detector became faulty and it was setting off my alarm system and it's because it's something, apparently there's something wrong with it and it keeps going off. So, so what I have here is a system that's 2151 and with the B402 base, which fits perfectly because the B112 and B402, are the, they're the same thing. It's just that one is actually low profile. And actually the trim rings are actually swappable. So yeah. So here is a system tester mass, not ADA. There's the model right there. Flash is really slow, and it's set to 800 hertz. And we're coding on a code three by the panel. I right, got a non ADA mass. We have the MBG10 of the Jetex GXS strobe. We have the first generation. I've got the uh, local version of the BMG1, local fire alarm version. The same heat detector, an Azure branded twenty, an Azure branded Wheelock um, WST twenty four. You have a BNG one TS behind the stopper or mini stopper. An oscillator. We also have an RMS. This one's ADA fifteen slash seventy five, and this is also set to eight hundred hertz. 2400 continuum, uh, you know, eight hundred hertz continuous, but coding. Uh, March coding on code 3 by the panel. So that's the ADA version. And you can't see where this is actually going. We have the system sensor 2312-24B uh, smoke detector. In the very hot attic. Oh yeah, it's, it's really hot. <laughs> you got the heat detector, 194 breather wires. I'm not going to open that door for just too long because it's very hot in the attic. As you can see, we're on a full 90s slash 80s vibe going on. Um, yeah. 80s slash 90s vibe. So what we're going to do is we're going to be testing. Actually, we'll test the smoke detector here. The used to be 2450, 2451 TH, but somehow it's just false alarming. I don't know what's wrong with it, but. All right, then it's false alarming. So here's 2451. And, um. So yeah, here we go. It's all fast and really slow. Little silent set by the Nestator. You can tell this is an ADA strobe and the other one's a non ADA. Um, that's because I think right around the midnight, I think around the late 80s, I think they started requiring ADA uh, strobe, ADA compliant strobes. Yeah, I can think this thing flashes really slow. But yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll just re alarm by pulling the MBG-10. So I'll be right back. All right, so here is the MBG-10. Pre-alarm. Let's 
sides is from the panel. And we're going to reset that pulsation. Sometimes the over tightening these will actually break. That's why they suck. So yeah. Try not to be careful to do that. <laughs> Okay, it's reset, we'll reset from the panel. And reset. Okay. Now it's just the, uh, uh, the notifier pole. The local alarm version, of course. Here we go. Alright, with that, we'll reset the pulse station and we'll do the reset again and we'll test the heat detector. I did actually fix this pulsation up there. I remember saying that. Uh, put a new key lock and everything in your switch. Works perfectly now. So, we'll go ahead and reset the notes later. Now it's just to be into one TS. If I can get this to reset with this, uh, oh. yep. Unbreakable. No. Oh, reset. Let's see it again. All right, so that's reset now. Let's test the heat detector in the restroom. So here we go. She acted pretty fast. Are you sure about that? Just like that. I think our camera's picking up. Very slow that one. There's the GXS. Box is really slow. Silenced. And so now, just for a little bit, we're going to test the added heat detector. So we're going to go ahead and test the added heat detector, and then we'll test the background smoke detector, and that should be it. So we'll uh, reset. Now I'm going to test the added heat detector. I have a, a video down below you can see on the corner, so you can see the Alarm remote or alarm indicator activating as well. So let's go ahead and give it a test. Here we go. Reset. OK, 
Okay, so hopefully you saw that on this camera. That you saw the light. So I'll put it down on the, on the right hand corner so you can see it activating as well. So now, last but not least, is going to be the. Um, it's going to be the 24. No, 2300 or 2312 24 D. All right, so here is the 24. No, 2312. 24B smoke detector, and we're going to test with the rear smoke. So, here we go. There it goes. So that's it. Let me go get that smoke out of there. Okay, I hope I got like smoke cleared out. And uh, let's actually reset from the panel. So yeah. Anyway. Run to our panel, and we'll go ahead and reset. Yeah, so that is System Test 49 or Fire Alarm System Test 49. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, enjoy my official Discord server if you're interested in requesting or joining on to a System Test video. Um, <laughs> So yeah, and also we're also um, um, to join the official Fire Alarm community server, and we're actually hiring if you, guys, if you want to be a mod at the fire, the official Fire Alarm community server. So and it's actually much better and more safer than FATAC. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you, some of you guys in the comments are gonna say that, say hey, you know FATAC FATAC's better than you know you know. Okay. Anyway, so. If you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Please join my official Discord server. Um, link should be down in the description below. Same with the, the official Fireland Community server that I actually administrate. Same with my other friends as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.